Welcome back for some more Danish Dynamite. Yeah! Wait, no, that's pirates. We are. We are Vikings! Get him! Wait. Is this bloody difficult? Welcome back. Are you crazy here? And clearly I am. That wasn't even planned. I just brought some tea because, well, all the talking that I'm going to do. So, I hope you enjoyed the first few episodes. I'm actually so excited. It's only been like, I don't know, an hour since I recorded the, well, episode two. And yeah. So, also, not much has actually happened, speaking of. Because, yeah, as you saw, we smashed Chelsea with some beautiful, beautiful heading Tiki Taka, which I absolutely love. But, yeah. I mean, because of the schedule, there's no way I could just fast forward for a month and then... I guess we have to do it like this. This is much easier. Uh, I just... I couldn't, right? It's too bloody tense, so yeah, I just fast forward a few days. Nah, this is so annoying too. And we now play Tottenham. We also play Villa randomly, which is funny. I don't know if you guys have the same thing whenever you start a new save. You always seem to play the same teams, like, all the time in the beginning. Hang on, I need to fix this. I, I think it's fixed now. Hopefully it'll stay there for good. Uh, but yeah, we play Aston Villa in between. I'm just going to skip past that because we want to see the Tottenham and then the Liverpool game, right? Uh, pretty tense. Uh, pretty scary. But, I mean, if we can smash Chelsea, then why not smash uh, the other ones too? And now it's doing this thing again where you can't see the tactics. Uh, I'm, I, I assure you I'm not cheating or anything. It's because I accidentally already set the team. So there's one change that I have made. Sadly, Simon Simon Kea is uh, is a, a little bit injured. So for this match, uh, Mr. Yorki Manasson will just slot straight in there, and hopefully not, it won't ruin anything. But other than that, it's literally the same. Oh, it's gonna be good. Now we are playing versus Tottenham, my favorite team in England. And by the way, I do have a Tottenham Twitch stream going on. Link in the description. Also, there's a link to, I now uploaded my database if you ever want to try some Danish action uh, or think you can do better, you probably can. But yeah, you can download it for free and in the, in the, I hope it's for free. I mean, it's uploaded and uh, you can download it here in the description. So yeah, but Tottenham, let's see if Mourinho has ever encountered the crazy Vikings before. <coughs> Did you have one player? That's pretty funny, of course. Mr. James Ward Prowse. Oh, okay. I guess this is a good time to explain that we are playing this save on the old database. Uh, when I started the save up, uh, it was before the winter update, sadly. Uh, otherwise, this dude would be amazing. Now, of course, the fun thing is I just released him from, uh, well, the Danes, it says now. But yeah, James Ward Prowse. In the new winter update, I don't know if you've noticed, but he is actually amazing. He has 20 corners, 20 free kicks, 20 stamina, and I think... Yeah, 20 work rate. He has 20 times 4. 420s. 420? Well, blaze it. All that uh, lingo. I don't know. I'm not that young any longer. But he is amazing in the winter update. And I have him at Tottenham. He is fantastic. 20 free kicks. And he's in two seasons scored one free kick. That's right. Meanwhile, when he's injured and Chanonolu is playing, Chanonolu just scores for fun. And he has like 16 free kicks. So check for that one. We want. Well, Anywho, that's not what we're talking about today. We're going to smash some spurs. Oh! Let's see, Mourinho. Have you ever encountered these crazy fools? Uh, makes us stronger. I don't even know what I'm saying. I am just want to get out there and play some footy footy boos. Decent start, I guess. Well, at least we have the ball, which is good. Are we going to tiki-taka our way forward? Let's see. The ball Larsen now. Is he going to take on his man? No, no. Lays it off to Ericsson. Pretty close, pretty close. Okay, 27 minutes gone. Finally, maybe a real highlight. Skull was going to drive it forward. I, I, I could feel that he was going to lose their son, who's a beast in the first season. But Paulson, 11 finishing. Go on, go on. Oh, my God, he does it. He does it. Yusuf Paulson, or Urari, as he's uh, sometimes called, at least in the older FMs, he liked that nickname. <clears throat> so Son loses out to Hoiberg, which is, I love that, to, up to Paulson, and then this is one out of 11, where he actually scores. I guess I should take him off now, because now he won't score for the next 10, but uh, I don't know how it works. Uh, but yeah, great start. Do we just defend from now? I think we're going to 
What just happened here? I'm, I'm clearly demanding focus, it said. It's on with the go. Oh, ooh, good save from Schmeichel. Well, yeah. Bale gets the rebound. Let's see that again, I guess. Why not? It's on with a good cross, right? Yeah, and Bale. That's a great save from Schmeichel, but then, yeah, he can't stop that one. <clears throat> oh, well. It's a good bit of intent, at least. And let's just not... I mean, apparently we're dominating again. Hmm. Maybe we are just a lot better than I expected. Uh, let, let's just hold that one. Oh my god, I, I had to say it, right? First I praise Michael, then I say we're, we're very good. And then this happens. Let's just see that again, because... Ward Prowse with the free kick, and then Michael. No, he definitely forgot that he was a goalkeeper. And also, James Ward Prowse scores free kicks, apparently, before the update, which is nice to know. Uh, show something else in the second half, and then I have faith. Yes, but yeah, not ideal. What is this? See, now it's suddenly, now I have both Danish stats here. I mean, what is going on with this game, SI? Can't you just sort it out? As Bale drives it forward, and weird ball to Kane, but they somehow ma maintain it. This is, okay, so Michael gets it. It's very weird being on the opposite side of uh, Tottenham. Like, I do Twitch, and uh, so I'm used to saying Kane and all that. Well, I say that. I kind of sold Kane after the first season, but oh well. Let's talk about this one, because Sko is now driving the the, the ball forward. To Vass takes over, probably, with the... Ooh, what do we have? I mean, that was a bit strange, but okay, are they just going to counter from here? We would. That would be pretty annoying. Whoa, that was a sneaky shot from Bale, wasn't it? But look at this again. We are dominating, apparently. Let's change this one now to Tottenham stats, because apparently, I don't know what's going on. This is getting a bit, I mean, nothing has literally happened. So, what should we do? What should we do? Vass is sadly struggling, but he's like our best player, so let's keep him up there. Well, but Skull is kind of not playing very well. So, let's get Sisto on over there, and then let's get Martin Braithwaite. But as an inside forward on attack. Because we do need to create something here. So let's not have him as a winger. Let's have him attack, attack, attack. And then uh, I am thinking about... Yeah. Just get uh, Dolbe on. Advance forward, right? And let's try and go for this. Maybe uh, may as well just go attacking. I mean, we have nothing to lose here. 20 shots and only 6 on targets. That's, uh, well, that's what you get when you have poor finishing, I suppose. And we haven't even seen them. They've been so poor, the, the bloody shots, that they didn't even show up as highlights. Sister, I mean... Uh, right? And by the way, he's now a winger. Why is he doing that, the crazy fool? That was very Depay-esque. <laughs> to quote myself from my Spurs say, What is going on there? Okay, hope yeah. Are we going to counter from here? Dolbe, nice, nice, nice. He's in. Go on, lad. Go on! Okay, off attacking at least. Let's just go to balance and then let's focus. If I can. Okay, yeah, let's see the highlight again. Hoivia. To Dolbe, that first... Oh, that, that that was so sexy. And then calm as you like. I mean, the goalkeeper definitely didn't try there. But I'm not complaining. Okay. Focus! Oh, so there we have it. A 2-2. Two -two. I mean, I think it's fair. I mean, we had 25 shots, but only 7 on target. You can't expect to, to win games, right? And they had 14 and 11 on target. That's very... So, 2-2 two -two away at Spurs. I don't think that's too bad, you know. So, we'll take that. Um, I think you've done brilliant to salvage a draw. I'm proud of you. I actually am. I actually am. Tottenham are very, very good. And, uh, yeah, they kind of showed it. So, well then. Right. And now I have, like, in two days I need to play bloody Villa in the cup. So, yeah, definitely do some training, uh, some resting. Always do that after a match. It works. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play the Villa match and then come back to you with, was it, was it United? I already forget. No, Liverpool. Ooh, spicy. Right, we're back, lads. Right, we are back, lads. And as you can see, we are through to the in the Carabao Cup. It was an enthralling 1-1 one -one that we then won on penalties. I mean, we absolutely dominated, but you then need to see what happened in the 86th minute.
Right, everything is fine. Davis is going to cross the ball. Schmeichel is going to catch it. He doesn't drop it or anything. No silly business. But then what does he do? Immediately. He's not even landed yet. And he does that. Shoots it against Schultz. And then it goes in. Do you know what the worst thing is? Schultz was, Schultz was blamed for that one. It was like saying, oh, Schultz had a bad game. You should take him off. He had a bad game. That's not his fucking, his freaking fault. Sorry for the language. But yeah, I mean, we did win it in the, uh, in the penalties where Schmeichel saved one. So I guess he redeemed himself a little bit, but that just meant we were a bit more tired, I guess. So what you gonna do? So into the game versus Liverpool, and it's good to say that Simon Kea is indeed back from his little injury. So he is straight in there in the starting 11. And the starting 11 is very simple, at least, well, so far, <laughs> while it's going well. It's Vess, Kestis and Kea Dumisi at the back, with Schmeichel behind him, obviously. Then it is Hoybia Delaney on the midfield. Sko on the right, Eriksen in the middle, Boon Larsen on the left, and Poulsen up front. Uh, I will say I forgot all about this guy, who's a bit of a... A wonder kid almost, uh, Mikkel Damsko. So I, I, he was just kind of stuck in my under 23s. So I pulled him up now and at least he's on the bench now. Because frankly, Pione Sisto, I mean, you saw him in the last game make a shot. He is like a budget version of Memphis Depay. I'm not impressed. Right, anyways, into some club action. And, uh, and I don't mean club as in nation, club, etc. I mean club as in Jürgen Klopp. Let's wreck him. Let's go. Now, it is suggesting that we are a bit underdogs here, despite being at home, but I, I, I think we played some lovely football, so you never know. But yeah, this is, uh, this is Liverpool. <sighs> I thought we were going to be the perfect dog as I'm rambling on. Yeah, this is Liverpool. They're going to score five goals on the counter-attack, and there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. We could lower the line as much as humanly possible, and they will still just hoop it over and then run at our keeper and then score. So, we need to score six goals to be able to win this match. That's my prediction. Uh, as we are... As we are kind of seeing what I just said. It's not quite, but Liverpool are on attack. Salah to Henderson now. Salah is in, and yeah, he doesn't miss from there, does he? <sighs> well then, well then, well then. Man, I don't need to see that one again. Good, good job, man. Come on, guys. We can play some lovely football, too, and I want to see it. Paulson. Yeah, he, he, he scored the last one. He's not going to score for a while. I'll be honest. In the, in, with this schedule in the first, well, in the first few months, I just want to get, get through its gaze and not get humiliated. As Paulson, oh, my God, he scores. So that's like one and two now. He just needs two chances and he scores. Ooh, not too bad. I guess we kind of did a, a Liverpool thing there. We just, you know, how can I get rid of this? Paulson. And then it's just in off the post. <laughs> I mean, Alisson is, well, well, bless him. But thank you very much. But yes, I just don't want to get humiliated. And uh, then we can go into some easier matches and hopefully show our dominance and wreck fools like, you know, Burleys and Newcastles and Sheffield United's and Wolves and stuff of the league. I was going to say Crystal Palace, but no, Crystal Palace are OP and they always smash you like 3-0. Doesn't matter what team you're playing. Um, um, I'm gonna say I'm not happy, honestly. Yeah, and they seem to like it. I think we can do better. We can do better. Well, Liverpool are on the attack now. Trent to Salah to Henderson. Oh, throw it away. Ah, that's not. It's not too good. That now Trent is angry. Oof, apparently, it's always too easy. So. Oh, that's see. This is the work thing we do have. Like people are just tackling. Like. They chase the ball. I love it. Okay. Liverpool are kind of turning it on, I think. Milner to Henderson. Virgil van Dijk to Trent. And yeah, he has a lot of space out there. And Salah. Very close. I'm going to tell him to focus. I am thinking about doing a bit of a change. Okay, let's see this highlight out. I am worried that they will just score now. But... Mm, yeah, Robertson just... What is that, Schmeichel? Why is... is it... Holy mo... Schmeichel has been... Weird, to say the least. Holy moly, he's giving me a bit of a heart attack. Uh, so yeah, I will do a bit of a change. So we need... Oh my god, Simon Kerr is actually injured again. And he's really knackered. So we're gonna get Anderson off. 
who else? Like basically the entire front three in the midfield playing bad. So I'm gonna get Tamsko on for Boon Larsen and then let's see. Then let's save the last Yeah, let's always press Salah, sure why not? Uh let's save the last substitution. So yeah, okay. Trent with a free kick. I mean Smigel again. Are you having a laugh? This is not I mean let's see it again because maybe it is a bit but Smigel, okay, I mean, you literally palm it into your goal. You definitely could have saved that one, right? It's not where the errors are coming from. Like, I didn't expect the errors to come from bloody Smigel, of all people. Um, so, yeah, he's been, he looked, he just looked very strange in the start. Let's hope it doesn't continue like that. As Liverpool are still just kind of building. Uh, of course, we are playing their fa famous gig in press, so maybe they're angry and want to show us what it's all about as Salah just... I mean, that was more Tiki Taka-esque, that entire attack, but yeah. Uh, let's make the last sa uh, save, the last change, and all but score is having a dreadful game too, so... Let's just get brave for it out, out, out on, the, on the right there, as an inverted winger on attack, apparently. And now... Oh, Oh, okay, it was a free kick or something. Yeah, now now we're just being a bit... We're being a bit embarrassed here, which... Which, you know... Which I was afraid would happen. Uh, obviously, I hoped it wouldn't, but... Yeah, when you meet teams like Liverpool that can just do stuff like... But we can do that. And then wait, wait. I need someone who can pretty finish. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, Liverpool are just that much better than us, sadly. Uh, I mean, you can tell by the stats, right? We dominated versus Chelsea. We dominated, as far as I remember, versus Tottenham. Ah, Tottenham. Pretty straight. And, and somehow, what? Goal? I mean, Braithwaite, is he... Is he uh, earning his Braithinho title in this performance here? Let's see the brilliance from him. And then he... Is that even intentional? <laughs> or... <laughs> okay, well, Alison Becker seems to be having a bit of a mare as well, so... Oh, well... At the end of the day, 2-3 to Liverpool, I'm going to say unlucky. They seem to actually like that. They were motivated, so, hmm. Yeah, we worked extremely hard as a team. If we continue that, the results will follow. I agree, I agree. Um, we didn't deserve to lose that match, so, yeah, let's just say that. Keep the confidence high. Uh, so after, well, just, well, I guess we are now a match ahead of the others, but. Four points so far, playing... Uh, Liverpool, Tottenham, Chelsea. Not too bad. Who else are we playing? Then, oh yeah, now it's Arsenal, of course, in the Carabao Cup. So that just makes it even more fun. Then Villa again. And then United. So, oh, what a start to the season. But then it becomes a bit, you know, ex except for Crystal Palace, of course, who are OP. Um, it becomes a bit easier. And um, it sh we should be able to go on a pretty good run. But see, then you, it comes back to haunt us again. Chelsea, Tottenham, Liverpool, then United. I mean, of course, it's the same schedule, just the leg two, let's say. But yeah, I mean, as I'm doing all sorts here. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going too bad, right? I mean, decent performance. I hate playing versus Liverpool. It doesn't matter if I'm bloody Southampton or if I'm Manchester United or whatever, or Barcelona. Just Liverpool are capable of doing that thing. And I think we, we put in a pretty good performance. And uh, yeah. I'm hoping that uh, Gilad will follow this journey because this is actually super exciting for me. I can't believe we're playing such lovely football. So, uh, yeah, if you like the video, of course, press like, subscribe, comment, do all that. Get involved. I want to hear all your thoughts about this Denmark Viking squad. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Farewell. That's the proper Danish way.